you guys could hit him, that would be appreciated. As soon as you get close. As soon as you get close and moogles you. That is not cool. How the hell did that miss? What the hell? No, seriously, how is this missing? This guy is so... These bosses can get so incredibly annoying with when they miss. That is the most annoying thing. Let's go for a cure there. Let's start powering up again. Stay away. Stay away from the robot. What? Shion, what did I say? What did I say? Oh, come on. Hit him again. There, there we go. 103 damage. Uh, which I barely got off at all. And we need to go for another gem missile. We got a couple left in me. How much, how much is that doing? 50. Not as much as that, which is 58. And God, they just, he just keeps on doing it. No, now he's got a wheel. Stay away from the unicyclist. Now stop moogling. Ah, oh, how the hell did that miss? I swear, sometimes it just does not seem worth it to to do the friggin' death blow leveling up the, the attack. But I believe that it almost always is, especially for a boss like this, where you just want to go in, poke, and hit him once, and we whacked him for a hundred and something. Hundred. <laughs> no, we need to cure again. You need to get away from him. Everybody away from him. St you gotta be kidding me. Damn it, Yancey. Hit him with a gem missile. <laughs> These boss fights can get so annoying. How's he doing? He finally goes down, down, goes. Kilroy. Thanks to my leveled magic more, more than the death blows, but you always want to go for the death blows in the boss fights. That's usually the strategy that is recommended in this game. I might alter that as I keep going if things keep on working like that. That was not cool. And we have gotten all our HP back. And we got another orb for the... Well, actually, that's our first javelin orb. We got a javelin orb. Hooray! Not so well. See ya. Bye. And we've recovered the mana seed. Let's bring it back to the water palace. But first, we have a couple orbs that we need to turn in. So I'm going to go to Watts Blacksmith Shop. I'm going to rest. And I'll meet you back at the water palace. Back and forth, back and forth. It's a lot of fun. And we've made it back to the water palace. I've leveled up a little bit here. Everybody got a level. Well, Jake and Shion did. We have also gotten back to the Herald Sword for Jake. Uh, we did level up the pole dart into the javelin, which Yancey is still working on. And we powered up the whip to the black whip, which now Shion is working on. We are just outside the water palace. I have also leveled up all the magic to level two. That is probably important as well. We are outside the water palace. We need to return the mana seed. Why are there fish here? Why are there fish? How did I miss him? There we go. If fish get whacked. These are if fish, if you could not tell. There's another one over here. I saw you. You can't hide from me. Uh, the whip here, the black whip, it has a chance to... Well, it says that the enemy gets tangled. And we also have water thugs, as these guys are called. They're hanging out all over the place around here. I... Oh, there we go. Yancey's level... Right, skills up. Leveled up the javelin. There we go. And there we go. Tangling the enemies. We're showing off everything today. Uh, what tangling does is it slows them down. It's not that great. Let's switch. Yancey, what are you... What do you need to get on now? Uh, I think you still need to work on the bow? I can't remember, to be honest with you. I will double check that in a bit. Let's finish this guy off, though. You guys can help! Ugh, let's go back to freaking sword. I do so much more damage with Jake. Jake is definitely my damage dealer, physically. Not... Not with the magic, but we will we will do more damage when I'm him. That is for sure. How did I miss him there? 
Get up. Ah. <laughs> Apparently when he's in that dirt face mode, I can't hit him. There you go, water thug. So now you get to see it. And get over here. Die. And you need to die again. There there we go. There we go. We'll not die again. You need to die for the first time. We will continue our march. Is there anything here? No. Okay. Looks like things are going well. Uh-oh. Luca, get out of here fast. Who have we here? I'm Gashtar of the Empire. Hand over that seed or Luca's at it. Don't. What will I do? Will I hand it over or will I run? I, the, those are my options. Hand it over or run like a pussy? I am no pussy. You can have this and then I'm going to chop your hand off while I hand it to you. That's my option. Uh, it didn't work out that way. But that was what I meant. That was my plan all along. So glad the seed's here. Too bad we have to break the seal. Stop it. Well, nice to have met you all. As a little gift, I'd like you to have my little pet. Remember to feed him. And it is boss time. We're up against, I kid you not, the Jabberwocky. This, of course... And I need to heal. Like, straight away. Hooray. Heal. That'd be great. No, we're not doing the level grinding anymore. We're healing everybody. And we need to... Let's see, where is... There it is. We need to use... Rock slide. We haven't seen rock or sorry, earth slide. We haven't seen that one before. We're gonna use that on the Jabberwocky. It is weak to it. That's why that's why we use it. And I am not using Yancey's unconscious. Thanks to seven damage and now y Jake's unconscious. I almost called him Yank. What the hell? No, we're going for another rock slide. We're just going to spam that. Earth slide level two. Once again, Earth Slide. I am thinking in too much terms of uh, Pokemon here. That's, that's my problem. Damn it. Yancey. There we go. First slide again. Once you've leveled up your magic properly, this becomes a lot easier, to be honest with you. That was clearly my problem before. And Acid Storm. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Uh, we need to heal again. It is moving around slowly. But, with all this magic that I've been working on, combined with the upgrades that we've been getting to, this should not be too difficult. I'm not even going to bother powering up anymore because I seem to be doing a lot better without powering up. Down goes the Jabberwocky, of course. This guy was pretty damn easy no matter how you do it. But it is a boss fight! How do I know? Because it said way to go. And we get the bow's orb out of that. So it's time to power up the bow again. But first we need to go try to talk to Sage Luca. It, it actually does not matter whether or not you run or you give it to him. Uh, when you run away, he'll just get it from you anyway. And the same thing will happen. Does not matter. Does not matter. The Imperial forces have drawn back. We managed to defeat their monsters in Pandora, too. I got this from one of them. You should have it. And we got another orb. We got the whip's orb on that as well. I'm still working on leveling up the whip. Jake, we're running out of time. I'll return home and stop the Empire there. Only a restored mana sword can beat the fortress. Talk to the cannon travel man in Potos. He'll send you to the upper land. The Upper Land. How you doing? Now, use your sword to restore the seal. Put on the seed. Sure. Go, Sword of Magic. Receive the seed power, even though it's the same freaking seed. Didn't we do that from before? Apparently, the seed received the sword power this time? I'm not exactly sure. However, we need to go to the Upper Land, but first I need to go back to Watt and level up the two orbs that we got, and I will meet you, well, somewhere that you'll recognize so that we know how to get to the cannon. I'll be back. Actually, change of plans. 
We actually can't leave right now after we have powered up the mana seed and have talked to Gemma. That is not enough to leave. They will not let you leave this place until you talk to Luca again. Pure evil seeks the seed now. You must hurry and revive the mana sword. Go to the lofty mountains and see Sage Jock. Yock? I don't know. With the with the H at the end, it confuses me. To learn about real courage, then go to all eight of the world's palaces and reactivate all the seeds. You will be able to receive mana power from the seeds once you reactivate them. Eight is a very important number in the mana world, the mana universe. I'm not exactly sure why eight, but everything is always eight. And as you can see here, now this path has opened up to us. Uh, we actually don't need to go straight to watch right away. Even though we did get two orbs, and that is usually more than enough for me to want to go back to Watts, we don't need to today. And yes, that is uh, what happened before with the Ifish and the Water Thugs is why we always pull out our swords whenever we're on this screen. I bet you guys have been wondering that. But uh, we don't need to go to Watts just yet. I forgot his name. I tend to do that from time to time. We can just pretty much head the way that we were going, uh, which is to Potos, so we can head straight from here to, uh, not necessarily Potos, because of course we're not allowed in there because they hate me because I brought all the monsters. Everybody else loves me for this, but no, 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 no. My hometown hates me. Of course I was adopted. Just like every good RPG character. Well, main character. I should say, there are plenty of good RPG characters that aren't adopted, but in terms of main protagonists, nah, you're adopted. That's just how it works. We can head over here, where, if you remember, this is Cannon Travel Center. What's up, dude? 50 GP per trip. We can head to the Water Palace from here, or we can reach the Upper Land. We are going to the Upper Land. Beyond the Wall. North Beyond the Wall. Very nice. The Upper Land is huge. Reach it by going through the Great Forest. Just slide into the cannon. <laughs> is this a good idea? It was a good idea in other games. But this one? I don't know. Is cannon travel safe? 